Hey, hey, hey. Good, good afternoon. Yeah. How are we all? I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty good too. I am, yes. How are you guys out there? Yes, in the Bloom Land. What have we got on this week's show? Well, we've got the return of a brand spanking new course. But it's a return of a brand spanking new that course. That doesn't sound confusing at all. But we have also got uh, some random acts of balloon kindness. That's, yes, that's the joy of balloons. Yes. We've also got... Some uh, class... Class? Class information. Class information, yeah, yeah absolutely. We've got uh, a kangaroo all the way from Australia. I can't do a kangaroo noise. <laughs> yeah, we've got Q-Boom. Oh, and what else we got? Oh, some exciting news, some breaking news. Breaking new news, absolutely. Way. It's massive news for us, especially. We haven't told anybody this yet. We haven't yet. Yeah. It's brand new for you guys. We've also got, we're going to talk about balloon images cool. and balloon oh, magic. Yes. What else? We're going to talk about balloon, um, balloon releases. Yes. Uh, but before all that, before that, we should do this. We are. <laughs> we are back. Uh, excuse us for the little bit of a microphone issue we had in the first issue. thing. The microphone issue. Microphone issue. Microphone issue. We might have had a little bit of a feedback loop going on there. Du, du, du. What a busy old week in the queue corner. That's why we're live. You can tell we're live. Yeah, we do on purpose. Uh, they can't, somebody's asked, can the clip be saved? Yes, that's automatically updated, backdated onto the queue corner channel. So you can watch all of the old, all of the old ones before. Um, watch them anytime you like. The don't forget to go onto YouTube and onto the Q Corner channel and subscribe. Subscribe. Though. Hit the subscribe and then there's a little bell icon. Hit the Bing. bell button. You and must hit that bell button every time we upload a video, we go live, we do anything. Um, you get a notification if you hit that bell button. And if you're watching today, right now, live, not on repeat, but on live, if you haven't already subscribed. Go and do it now while you're watching the show. You can, and if you want, if you watch carefully, you might see something change in the background. Look, we've got a count there here. This is our subscriber count that Dom's on about. So what happens is, every time we get a subscriber, um, a new one on there, you hit subscribe, it will go up on the count on there. And also, because I forgot to change the settings, it will also <laughs> make a noise. So if you want to distract us, by all means, hit the subscribe. Yeah. Thank you very much. Feel free, hit that subscribe button. Yes. Well, I'm just recovering from my jet lag because I was rather tired this week. Where I, have you been, Dom? I have been get my fancy dancy new mug. If you can see that on there, can we see it? This is the Qualitex event 2018 Riyadh Saudi Arabia. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Well done! That's the first person to do that live on the show. Right. Thanks, guys. You need to own up who did that in who the comments, in the chats. Let's see who you are because you're going down in history as the first person that we caught on the new counter. So please own up, that'd be awesome. But yes, I've just returned from a fantastic event in uh, Saudi Arabia, which was a particularly cool event. We had oh, 108 delegates. 108, I, I know, it was packed out. Yeah, it was oversold. Um, we uh, were, were bursting at the gills in the room, but um, it was an exceptional event. Um, lots of challenges to overcome in that particular area of the world, but it was balloons reunited or united everybody so that was he came back absolutely buzzing it's so exciting <laughs> exciting time but he came back buzzing the fact that it's so exciting that we get to move balloons into all these new areas that are uh yes you know it's, absolutely it's... so that was, that was cool to to meet the guys out there from balloonizer that was awesome so that's me and then what i'm doing this week is that i'm getting ready to travel Ooh. next week to barcelona because we have on art that's yeah. happening next week in barcelona so i'm going to be there with loads of instructors for a nice big quality Excellent. It's a bit nicer weather than it is here, there. It is a little bit nicer in Barcelona. Who who doesn't want to go to Barcelona? What's the temperature here now? Uh, cold. cold. <laughs> What's the temperature there now? Warmer. Warmer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where would you like to be? Barcelona. Dead or here. <laughs> 
That's going to be pretty cool. That so. is going to be pretty cool. We've got lots of stuff going up mm. after that. Uh, we've got Beirut after that, Finland, all over the place. There's, there's tons yes. of stuff coming up. Lots of opportunity for education from yes. Qualitex in the balloon world. But check out your local Facebook pages to see what's going on in your area because there's uh, normally an event link and it has the information about the local market for the appropriate Facebook page. Um, so exactly. check that out. It's quite cool. It is very cool. What should we do first, Dom? I think... We should bring in a kangaroo. Kangaroo. Let's a kangaroo. That. So we had the awesome pleasure of re-meeting. Re-meeting, yes. The very nifty. The very nifty. I like where you did that. Yeah, I was going to say lovely, then I corrected myself and decided that maybe that wasn't the best title. The very nifty Nicole Gregg, all yes. the way from Adelaide, Australia. She's yeah, an I awesome think. twister she and is. also does decorating. She so does. she she goes on both sides of that. Just she like does. we started off, we started off on twisting, and we moved on to decorating and retailing side. Um, and it's been very cool ever since. Has. So she's ma making that move and pushing forward with Nifty Entertainments. And she very kindly um, said yes <laughs> to us throwing her in the deep end to yeah. go live when we were in Australia. We said we need a volunteer, and she didn't really move. I think uh, it was a victim. Yes. rather than a volunteer. Right. So on the spot, within like 30 seconds, she uh, said yes and made a phenomenal kangaroo, uh, which we had, yeah, awesome which we had loads of comments on as well. We had lots of people uh, talking to us about it and seeing if we could, because we didn't show the whole thing through no, the video. No, not the how-to. Um, we were kind of backwards and forwards while we were making her work live, um, but she very kindly uh, re-videoed the how-to make it and I shared it with you guys. So where's we've got the, that. Uh, where's the, the, the picture? We've got. There we go. Look. Ooh. Look at them. Look at that wow. little boxing kangaroo. It's super cute. It was a pretty awesome kangaroo. So, what we've done is we don't want to put this whole show together with just that. Um, so, what we've done is we've uploaded the video separately. So in about what, what we're on at the moment, where are we are. Oh, we're in about in about twenty minutes or so. That video will be live on our channel. Yes, um, and you'd know that if you subscribed and hit that bell icon. If you hit the bell button, you would yes. know. Yes. yes. Well, bing. New video uploaded. So, so Dom, what do we think about this boxing kangaroo? Well, I think it <laughs> is a knockout. It's a knockout. <laughs> Look at those graphics. Wow, that was. 20 minutes well spent. Can we do that again? <laughs> we can, because it's the same time. Oh! Yay! Yay! That was a different sound this I, time. I, that was timing to perfection. So, subscriber number two on the live show, you made me jump a little bit because I was expecting <laughs> one thing and we got another. <laughs> yeah, we do the, can we do the, uh, ready? Do it. Without the no, not, no, not the other one, the, just the, the, the audio. Are you ready? This is... Yeah, it's, it's, it works really well. <laughs> money, 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 well spent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> totally awesome. On you know, not connected to the quality of the video. That is so much better than what we've just you know spent no time on. So yes, that will be uploaded uh, at the end of the show. Yeah, well, automatically. <laughs> I don't think it'll be the end of the show. It'll be halfway through the show. Yeah, we know what we mean. So um, yeah, so but if you want to follow along, it's with two sixty Qs, one sixty Qs, and there's also a quick link in there because with Nicole's tagline of it's quick out with the link yes and um, she's awesome to work with very easy to follow we might even put the uh, product list in the description if we um, remember good luck with that yeah excellent we'll try that um, but don't forget you can pause it as well you don't have to watch it at full speed you can pause it as you go along but she does do uh, a very good demonstration and a very good very clear uh, instructions yeah, step by step so thank you Nicole for that yeah we really appreciate it thank you Yay. Nicole Greg yes so what else have we got? We've got some news, I think, haven't we? Mm. Oh, we have got some news, yes. Should we so go? Let's, let's go to... Uh, uh, a little look see at this, and uh, yeah, we'll do... Let's uh, go to the we'll news. And now, the news I'll from Q Corner. Corner. Shh! This is serious stuff. You be quiet. You're not even on screen. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so in balloon news this month, we have balloon images and balloon magic going digital. Now, this is huge. Massive. It's a massive change. Massive, massive. It's like sound effects on the side. This, uh, <laughs> I'm just looking at myself on the screen. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, exactly. No expense spared on this. 
No. So, yeah, it's we're going digital with balloon magic and balloon images, which is really cool. Uh, it's awesome news because we can reach all the corners of the globe out there. Um, it's I think that's pretty impressive. You're not on screen. I don't know why I'm looking at you. Hi! Don't yeah. forget, though, balloon magic as well, which is awesome because that was always paid for. Yes, now it's all free. So it wow. means that your favourite balloon corner will be at your fingertips on the train. In the doctor's waiting room, on a job. And also, as well as we've got some fast facts, the last print of Balloon Images is going to be at the end of this year. Um, the last print of Balloon Magic is issue 93, which is going to be mailed in December of this year. And then all the rest of the publications from then on are going to happen um, on Qualitex.com. Now, if you want more, loads more information on that, we can, we'll talk about that. We'll go back to it in a bit. Yeah, but that was, that's, that's balloon images and balloon magic. That's important. Yeah, that's, that's piece of news number one. Piece of news number two, balloon releases. Did you know that Pioneer Balloon no longer support the release of balloons? Various industry bodies are now completely against balloon releases. It's a headline, isn't it? It is. It is. Okay. Um, next, we have the return of QJAM. Exactly. This is, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Yeah. So Q Jam is back in the UK for the first time in years. Q Jam is coming to Birmingham this November with two of the industry's top twisting instructors, Dr. Bob Armstrong and Mr. Colin Miles. I thought you were going to say and Bob and Colin. <laughs> <laughs> and Bob and Colin. Yeah, what do you, yeah I like what you did there. Okay, um, this weekend, what else we got? We've got CBS News. Did you know that set to your reminders for this Sunday, 9 a.m. EST, as the World Balloon Convention takes to your screens on the CBS Sunday morning show. We can't wait to see what awesome footage they gathered throughout the World Balloon Convention 2018 in San Diego. That's going to be incredible. Um, tell your friends, get everybody to watch it. I think it'll be, I think it'll be really cool because a lot of people don't understand what the industry is about. Um, and uh, yeah, I think from a different perspective, this I think as is. well because it's a different set of camera people. Uh, so that'll be cool. That is. I think it's going to be really cool. That's going to be interesting. I'll be watching. Anyway, uh, what else we got? We've got the Q boom. Uh, feedback regarding the all-new Q-Boom has been immense. Please keep sharing videos on your Q-Booms in action. Like this video from Barry Revelle of Lighted Up Balloons in Perth, Australia. Look at that, he's got four Q-Booms set into action over a wedding. Um, a lot of people have already seen this one on Facebook, but we thought we would share it with you guys. Four perfectly synchronized I think, that's, I think that's, seeing it in action like that, that's just going to sell him so many more installations. Yeah, it's going to keep on going. Okay, um, what else we got? Lastly, lastly. We have some breaking news. We would like, sounds serious. Yeah, it is. Oh. We would like to say a huge, huge thank you to all the Q-Corner viewers that continue to support and give us their comments and feedback. We really appreciate it, guys. We listen to what you've been telling us and are very pleased to announce that we will now be coming to you with Q Corner every two weeks. Ooh, see your audience again. Woo! Ah! Yeah! Woo! Yay! Every two weeks, we're going to be coming back to you guys. We'll be live. That's up to 26 shows per year. Um, we're going to be cutting down the show time to 30 minutes and we're going to have a timer that we're going to hold to. So every two weeks, we're going to be live right here for you guys. There's so much stuff that happens every month that we can't cover because we don't have enough time to... Uh... Sorry, it's your eye. That we don't have enough time to, to cover. So we want to do that. We've been listening to you guys. You wanted short episodes, but more frequently. And that's exactly what we've been able to um, to deliver. So thank you very much for the feedback. We really appreciate it. Um, it's the, it's the only way to happen. Yay! Right, okay. That's the end of the news. Thank you very much. Hello, we're Austin. And you're watching Human Corner. So, yeah, great news. We, we like all that news that's coming in there. I'm going to pull this out here because we're going to discuss some of those points.
that we had with the news. Yeah, so we were talking about... Welcome back, John. I was I, in the other studio there doing the news. You were totally... I mean, I put, you know, a camera and your head on a stick and things, you know. Anyway, I was there, so it was cool. Yes, nice. excellent. Nice, good job. <laughs> Fantastic. Great job. Great job, Cam. Yes, so we have... Uh, balloon images and balloon magic. Why is that showing on there? There we go. There we go, we needed that. Yay! So, if you didn't know already, I mean, I don't know how you wouldn't know. This is the uh, massive announcement that's come across from Images and Balloon Magic that we're going into the digital era. Um, quite a bit of discussion on this one. I know people are very connected to their hard copies of it, as yes. are we. We've collected all of ours, and they're like a Bible in our business. Because there's some fantastic information in there that we often go back to for inspiration. But um, everything needs to evolve. It does. And, you know, my, I've got to say my initial reaction was, oh, it really was. Yeah, I know. It's I like, mean, and I saw somebody said there that they, they understand that they like to sit down with a copy of it with yeah. a cup of tea and read it. Well, totally you can still that. do that. You can still do that with an iPad. Yes. Yeah. Now, the thing is, though, I think the thing that really kind of turned it completely on its head for me was the fact that we're going to get more digital content, not just uh, static images and the, the, the text that we've always had, but we're getting interactive, we're getting videos. Exactly, getting video designs, tutorial, step -by -steps. downloadable marketing yeah. materials. There's going to be tons of stuff in there. And, and I don't think it's limited to necessarily the quarterly four episodes. No, there's four. been some hints on there that they say that there might be more than four mm. per year, which is fantastic. It's awesome. You know, I know the guys there, the, the marketing for images, how much they work for images and for Bloom Magic, and it's it's a massive amount of resources. It is. So if they can it's kind huge. of push that into doing uh, on demand, ready to go, I think that's going to be phenomenal. We're going to get so much more, much quicker, especially with the trend stuff yeah. as well. Yeah, you know? yeah, you can fast the turnaround because the yeah. thing is, is that you know when you're sending things to print and they get distributed around the world, you know it it takes quite a while to do that. So now it can be faster as soon as the information's ready, it's yeah. out there and it's in everybody. And Plus. Multi-language. Yep, and you've got that library of information to pull on as well. So it's um, you know you've got members of staff you want to let read through the stuff as well. That's brilliant. You know you know handing over your beloved one copy exactly. of images. You've got something there that they can read and it's completely indestructible. But if then, you want any inf more information though as well, yes, you, you go to qualitex.com slash en hyphen us slash news or just go to the news section of the qualitex.com yeah. website. It's in the trended now. Select there. It's it's the top article at the moment. Um, and just select that. There's two different bits of information. One for the Blue Magic, one for images. Very much the same. But there's also a subscribe um, yeah. to the newsletter in there. It's the email list. It's where yeah. it is. Is that it means that every time there's a new issue that comes out, you'll get to know first. Absolutely. Yeah. That, obviously, that's... it'll be on the website there for everybody anyway. Yeah. But if you want to know first, but that's the important you want to get to thing. It, Go subscribe. do that. Get that done, and then you'll know that when it is. Out. Tons of frequently asked questions in there as well because we know that people are going to have lots of questions regarding it. Yeah. So go on there, take the time and read it. If one of your questions is not answered, obviously just get on the social media and ask the question. Go on, you can ask Mr Q or you can contact them directly through the website. Exactly, so don't forget to use those social media platforms. There's <coughs> lots of people out there to help you. Oh, one last thing on that. Right. Um, once per year... Oh yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, this what is, they're going to do is... This they're is gonna do, uh, Yeah. They're going to do the best of the year. So I think, what's, what's the first one called? Um, the very best of 2018, of course. Yeah. Um, so the first one's going to be available in January, hopefully, and it's going to be about 12 US dollars plus shipping. Well worth it. There we go. There will be a very best 2018 for 12 dollars. That's exactly what I just said, Mark. Thank you very much, buddy. It just means you've got something to have that, you know, hard copy to go in the, uh, the records, the archives of your balloon memorabilia. Um, I think our cupboards get the bit full now, but <laughs> yeah, digital platforms are a lot easier to store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yes, and then the other thing we talked about in the news. So that was balloon, Im the balloon images magic. What else we got? Oh yeah, balloon releases. Yeah, balloon release is a big topic at the moment. It's huge. I mean, we've just come back from Australia yes. where people are doing absolutely amazing work in um, the fight against people that are wanting to do um, an out and out ban on balloons. Yes. So we don't want this to happen. It's really good for us that we've got these industry bodies. We've got you know various different people across different areas. We've got the Balloon Council, the European Balloon Council, PIBA, uh, BAPA. BAPA have got in, uh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're working with PIBA as well. It's, it's it's great. There's lots of information on this to get a really good overview. Um, have a read of Sue Bowler's article on the very best balloon blog. Um, 
where the address for it there at the bottom. It's right at the bottom right now. Just search for the very blog. best com. balloon blog into Google and it will come up top top result, no doubt. Top 20 results, probably. Yeah, yeah. probably, yeah. yeah. Just select onto that and then you'll see um, there's a list of uh, different articles in there. Um, but have a look at that, why we should ban balloon releases. And it's got a really good kind of array of information in there from the different sources, different people and links uh, to the different sites as well. Because I have to say, is when, when it first came in saying that we should ban balloon releases, we were not 100% sold about the situation. So what we did was we went in with an open mind yep. and we got the knowledge and actually if you read into it, it's very interesting. We're looking to protect we, our industry. We're, we're looking, looking to enforce yeah. best balloon practices um, to look after our industry, self-police ourselves, so we don't have anything kind of imposing on us to tell us what we should do and why we should do it. You know what? Yeah. We're all very competent professionals, and I think we can actually do a very good job ourselves. So the likes of um, the different um, the bodies. bodies out there, PIVA especially at the moment is great because they're already picking up some memberships and actually showing people who are members so that's pretty powerful at the moment yes. as well whereas the european council and the the balloon council are represented by the manufacturers which is phenomenal because the work and effort they put in is is immense and you know we wouldn't be where we are without them but actually from people's point of view yeah. it's great it's just showing as a collective we're all behind what everyone's seeing so that's pretty good it's free to sign up to as yeah, well you can go on do a search for PIBA Australia and you'll find it but yes. the the branching out across there's a PIBA US yeah. and uh, PIBA UK as and again well, if you want anything on that Facebook uh, on the social media look at Qualitex uh, Facebook page and there's lots of information about that and anyone will happily help you yeah and get through the blog read the blog if you haven't already it's really it's a really good read so thank you very much Sue for yes, that thank you Sue what else we got Q Jam Q Jam it's like toe jam but different yeah so Q Jam back in the UK this is actually one of the first things that we ever did um, we were yeah. twisters we were pure twisters when we first came in the we didn't industry do any courses we didn't do anything this was the first interaction that we ever did with D White yep. and Jordy Norris at the time. Yes, um, I even remember where it was. Yeah, exactly. It was at a, a One of those wholesalers. Wholesalers in Gainsborough. Gainsborough, yeah. yeah, exactly. That was a pretty. And good I remember day. Jordy made a giant dragon. She just come back from somewhere and she was testing out new technique, and it yes. was pretty inspiring stuff. And we used to they go. Oh, yeah, we were oh, oh. because we'd only seen we were self taught at that time, so it was all through That's like good sword and flower that we made. And, yeah, sword hat and flower, sword hat and flower. <laughs> but no, it really inspired us um, to go on to to bigger and better things. Yes, and it's back. We've been pushing for this for so long. We yes. love the Q Jam. It's a brilliant um, format. It's a great way to learn. And it's not just by the you know the instructors that are there. It's it's also by the people who actually attend as it's well. It's a jam. You kind of get lots of different pockets of learning, different levels, and you don't have to be a twister to go as well. That's not what it's for. No. Nope. Yes, twisters attend, but it's for decorators, retailers, just to increase the twisting skills. Yeah, yeah, adding their techniques. What you can do with it, you know, pinch twist and a loop twist, and make some money off it is is phenomenal. So if you haven't even touched a balloon before. Go to it. It's a brilliant day. You'll learn. You'll learn something that you can take back and just kind of progress your business. It's a very cheap course as well. It is for anything on that one. Um, if you search for Pioneer Europe on Facebook, um, there's a Pioneer Europe page. Go onto that and then and go on down the to the events. Oh, this side, this side, left hand side, the events. The events. Yeah. Select that and it'll take you to an Eventbrite website and that has all the information, the details of the location, the time, and the fact there's a buffet lunch included, the address, how much, and everything you need to do to sign up for that as well. And you've got Doctor Bob. Yeah, Dr. and Bob Colin. And Colin. Yeah. It's a dynamic duo. You do. Um, it will have limited spaces, so if you're thinking about it, get it signed up. Get it done, get it booked in, because what always happens, what we always hear back is, yeah, I was thinking about it, but then it sold out. Sold out. Because everyone seems to leave it a bit too close, and then someone un regrettably this misses out. This is sell out so yeah. easy. Oh. Because it is for twisters and it is for decorators. Yeah, and it hasn't been on for so long as well, so many years. So if you, if you are con considering going, and you know what, it is Christmas orientated, so take a Christmas hat, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Maybe some mince pies. But don't um, discount the fact that it is Christmas. Some mince pies. Yeah, uh, just because it's Christmas themed, and you think, well, I might not be doing Christmas, or I don't want to do anything Christmas themed. It doesn't matter if the techniques that you learn on this particular course are usable. Yeah, in they're so going to set you up. They're going to set you up for yeah. all sorts. I've seen some pictures of the reindeer and the Santa Claus and things like that that are going to be made, and and it's the, it's the usual stuff from Doctor Bob and Collins. 
really sellable yeah. and uh, easy really to versatile as yeah. well. You can do more stuff with it as well. So get yourself there. What else you we've got, Dom? Some pictures. From That's that. Q Jam. We love oh, Q Jam. Yeah. So this one is. Oh yeah, this popped up on the on Facebook yeah. the other day. This is following on from International Balloon Month, which was great to yeah. really kind of push um, ourselves as a community in the in the social media about the what we do in our industry. It's Balloon Month, and we're celebrating the likes of the CBA program. Um, yeah, and it's really good for us. And our our business. first and ever CBA there. Yeah. yeah. But it's good for PR for your business. So it's good for just internal stuff, but it's really good for PR. So you can use that uh, within your own business to, to sell yourself. Uh, but this one's kind of a last challenge from Qualitex coming out of that. It's now, but it, I don't see why it needs to stop. No, it's it should, be, it should be that we practice every day, really. Yeah. Now, this is something that has been going on for a long while. I think there's even a Facebook group for this specific specific task. Yeah, random, random acts of balloon, balloon artistry, artistry, I believe That's it is. Um, quite a few years ago now. Um, but randomly, somebody doing a balloon twisted item, whatever it may be, simple flower, just a heart, something like that, and just leaving or giving it to somebody in this more spontaneous way. Yeah. What we're looking for the moment is to get you guys to do that, challenge you to do it. You know, just do one a week, do something. But if you do it, take a photo. Yes. And tag it. Use tag the it. hashtag. Hashtag joy of balloons, hashtag Qualitex. Yeah. And then it means that we get to see them because everybody can search yeah. on that same hashtag. Just go to Facebook and do search it. it. Um, works in Instagram as well. So if you've got Instagram, you don't have to just do it on Facebook. You can do it on both, either or, or both. Uh, I've already seen some on there as well, which are pretty cool. I was having yes. a little look-see, so that's good. Some people have started doing that. Looking forward to seeing those. And I think we'll have to try over the next few weeks to see what random things we can do. Um, I'm challenging we, you we do pretty random when stuff. you're on your travels to on art. Yes. I want to see you. I'll do I'll do something. I'll do a random act of balloon kindness. Yes. Not trying the balloon on someone. That's not kindness. No, that's just a random act. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be specific. Okay. But random yes. act of balloon kindness. So that's your challenge. Lay that would be my joy of balloons. So, going on with that theme, can we yes. get rid of that and can we go big screen again? We can. Look at that. Oh, We're going to go here. I'm going to go here. Look, Look at that, we're yay. big screen again. Because we want to share something with you. Yeah, we do. That we can do. Um, because uh, one of the things that we did ages ago when we were doing about Chrome was a dog on a bracelet. And people have been asking about doing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you something that we give away fairly often. We give it away to um, people that give us uh, upgrades on flights and stuff. <laughs> and we give it to, we leave them That's for... Right. Uh, in the hotels that we visit and various other things, but it's a simple it's balloon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's a simple tip. balloon flower. Yeah. So this one, um, we've done this for ages because we've been doing corsages and stuff, which we, oh, we it's do. It's like it. our oldest, best design. It's really cool. Ever. And it's cute, and you can use it for anything. So what we've got is we've got a 260Q. This one's in rose, and we're going to create a small loop twist or a fold twist. And twist that round and tuck that knot inside of there. Good to be done. Why, thank you. And then we're going to create another loop the same size. So we size it up. Hello, everybody. And then we lock that in and twist them together as well. So we have our two petals. We make another petal. And then we'll make another petal. And then we'll make another petal. There we go. We're going to get rid of this one. Can you hold that one, please? Thank you. Oh, ninja. I feel like I haven't seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a simple five petal flower. And then we need another 260Q in lime green with a small bubble on the end. So that can just push into the bottom of there. And then the other end can wrap it to that side as well. Oops. Make it so that it has a nice bubble on the top. And then this bit comes back round on itself. In it goes. Wrap it in and tuck that inside so it's hidden. And then we have a beautiful balloon flower. There we go, that's my random act of kindness. Ta -da. Hashtag joy balloons. The, um, there's lots of different ways of doing flowers. And the reason we like this method is because we can do different amounts of petals. Yeah. So we can do a five, a six, And when you work seven, with 160s as well. Yeah. And, you and even lots. 350s yeah. as well. Yeah. But also you can switch the colours out. You could do three petals in one colour, then add a new balloon in and carry on to do three more petals in a different colour. And you can have an alternate type one as well. But also you can, you can change the size a lot. You can go really small, a bit bigger, 
it really is a versatile technique it is. for doing a simple balloon. And it's very simple. It is. So that's our uh, bracelet version. Little giveaway. So, so the next stage... I have a, a six petal one here already, so that's already done. Just the same way as Keith's just done that one, but it's just got one extra loop in there. Um, but you just keep adding if you have enough balloon, and it just gets tighter and tighter, but it really pushes those petals together, which gives it a much more kind of uh, deluxe... Well, it's the rounded yeah, shape as well. Gives, it, it gives it that deluxe, yeah. uh, fuller feel to it as well. So for this one, we're going to do another bracelet, but we're just going to add in another balloon, so it's another 260Q. Um, just starting from the knot end again, I'm going to create a, a bubble. And I'm going to do three bubbles now. So I'm going to do one bubble about the same size, and then there's a little bit of a smaller bubble, then another bubble about the same size. Okay, so I'm holding on to this one here and this one so they don't come undone. Fold it round and just twist them together, and that gives me this is just going to be a little balloon poodle. Okay, so the front of the dog and then the Head there. This yeah. is the one that we did where we were showcasing the crow before where it was yeah. a little balloon poodle sitting on a bracelet. So. Again there's a million different versions of these, this is just the one that's our, it's our go-to. Yeah. Just a small bubble there for the neck, now we're going to do four bubbles for the, the leg and the feet. So it's a leg and two smaller bubbles for the feet and then back up to the leg again. I like the way you did that. Thank you. So there's our front of the poodle now. Then we do the body, so just a squeeze there, and then the same thing for the back leg. So it's the leg, foot, foot, and the leg. Twist that all back round again. That's the, the back of the poodle. And then just for the tail here, I'm just going to stretch that out at the very top, just to weaken that balloon just a little bit. I'm going to squeeze at the bottom of the tail and just kind of hold gently over there so it restricts the air in the middle and pushes it up to where that weak spot is there. So that's our poodle and we're going to attach that into our bracelet. To do that I want to take a, another 260Q. This one just had a little puff of air in it just so it's it's not completely flat so it just looks a, a bit better. Yeah it's like again. Oh, that, that from that bracelet down but it just does and it also as well as when it has the air in it doesn't sit and it doesn't pull the hair so much yeah. in your arms um, it just sits nicely it looks, it looks better than a flat balloon. So I pulled it through the two uh, legs front and back, stretch it through and then pull it back down into the middle of the flower. So that just makes him sit oh, hello everybody, onto the middle of that flower. One of the reasons we did this was quite often a popular design for the, for the children was this poodle, which was great. Yeah. But when we gave it to them, they would either kind of play with it and untwist it, which is fine, or mum and dad would want to look after it and then they'd put it away in a bag which doesn't really advertise that you're out balloon modelling. So if you're at an event and you want to re you know, create awareness, yep. they're hidden away. Everyone you know, who got it were happy, but no one else really sees it. So for this, by putting it onto the bracelet, it adds so much more value to you, not just the person who's wearing it. So that one, so you're my model, there we go. It just means it's on show and that it's not lost, it's not broken, and they still get to enjoy it, but everybody else gets to see it. That's normally a case of let's follow the, the trailer balloons back to where uh, where you are working. So if you're doing it as an event or if you're doing it for awareness, it's a great way of doing it. And remember that a balloon poodle's not just for Christmas. You struggled with that one, didn't you? <laughs> totally. You need to take him for walks and feed him fresh air twice a day. Yes. Yeah, I think we'll have. <laughs> <laughs> we've got value off that audio. Oh. That, that audio track yes. is so awesome. So don't forget to take our photo, hashtag Joy Balloons and hashtag Qualitex. Yes. Perfect. Oh, hashtag Q Corner as well in there as well. Why not? Yeah, let's throw that one in there. Boof, in the mix. So yes, thank you very much for that. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Please, Please subscribe. Yeah, we want to so see this counter go up and up and up. Yep. Just in case you don't know how to do it, let's you see this. Yeah, because we did have a question on... Again. We did have a question about this earlier today yeah. about subscribing. Yeah. So just do a search for a Q corner on there and then click on the channel. This is an older video. Click on the channel itself and then click subscribe. But there's that little bell next to it. That's the important bit. Click on the bell Super and important. what happens is it makes them little marks just around the bell like it's been run. And that means that you will get a notification every time we do something new. It's now after 6.30 in the UK. That means 
there will be a live video already waiting for you, Let's which is Nicole's. Yet. I want to check, I want to check, I want to check. Uh, what have you got? Yes, five minutes ago. How to make a twisted balloon kangaroo with nifty Nicole Gregg. See, Cube because Thom subscribed and he has that notification bell. Comes up, my phone. comes up on his phone automatically to say that it's there to watch. It is. So that's what we'll be doing after this. We'll be going to watch that video. So yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have to remember? Yeah, set your reminders for 9 a.m. EST yeah, on Sunday to that watch that show. And remember that we are now, thank you very much to you guys, but we are yeah. now going to be every two weeks. So you're not going to have to wait a whole month. Yes. In fact, in just two weeks' time, we're going to be back live right here. And keep the questions coming in on the channel as well. Obviously, once the show's been finished and uploaded uh, afterwards, you can ask questions on the YouTube Q Corner channel site. Um, we answer them as fast as we possibly can, so Absolutely. please keep them coming. Um, and also messages via Mr Q is cool as well, so thank you very much. It's going to be the same time. That it's going to be 6pm UK time, which is 12 noon um what's that one again well what i do is i use the set reminder feature on the channel because it tells me at my local time and it reminds me to save me having to work it out i think that's a very good idea though it is we so go on the channel that. set your reminder and it'll do it all for you but other than that thank you very much thanks very much for watching yes. and we shall see you again next time yay <laughs>